書士貫徹。It means stick to one's purpose. When I decide to do something, I never give up. I would say that pretty well describes Kazu. Tenacious. When he takes on a role in a project, he's dedicated. Very kind and loyal. He's gracious. He's supportive. Humility, genuineness, compassion. Committed to making a difference. He's also a doctor in terms of the art of medicine. <laughs> no, no, you'll get your coffee in. Being able to work with the patient. Having Dr. Yasafuku in my life is like a guardian angel. Kazu is incredibly well known and respected. Like a superstar for Japanese surgeon. Not only in Canada and in Japan, but around the world. My name is Kazu Yasufuku. I'm a thoracic surgeon at University Health Network. I'm also the director of endoscopy. I was born in Japan, Kobe City. I grew up in California, San Francisco. And this is all because my father worked for a Japanese bank. I've always loved to make things. As a child, I was very good with my hands. I liked making radios, putting things together. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do in the future, I wanted to do something that would impact someone's life. I had a chance to see a surgery back in junior high, and it just all came together. I knew I wanted to be a surgeon. After graduating medical school at Chiba University, Dr. Yasufuku began his journey of carrying out original intention to impact patient lives and make things. In 2002, he developed a flexible ultrasound scope called the CP EBUS. That allows doctors to search the lungs for cancer without cutting open the patient. The soft scope enters through the mouth and goes down the throat into the lungs to locate cancerous nodules. Then, a filament like needle is fed inside the scope to take tissue samples for biopsy. This way, cancer staging is fast, accurate, and most important. Non invasive. When Dr. Yasufuku arrived at UHN in 2006 to take up a fellowship with the Toronto Lung Transplant Program, he was eager to show the team what his CP EBUS could do. A procedure that would avoid the general anesthetic, avoid the cut, and precisely get a diagnosis by going into the airway and putting a little needle into the lymph node. And that just, just blew me away. All of us could immediately grasp how potentially important that could be, how、uh, transformative it could be. It's become the worldwide standard for staging lung cancer. And that's been fundamental,、uh, game changer to our patients. I also recognize that Kazu belonged at UHM. And so we worked at, at trying to entice him to come. I was very proud of the fact that he saw the potential of joining this team. It does speak to the importance globally of the Division of Thoracic Surgery. For Kazu to choose to leave Japan and come all the way here obviously was a big decision for his family. I owe a lot to my family. My daughter, Jihiro, especially my wife, Mihoko. Everyone tells me that she's like a saint, and I believe that. Kazu is now leading us. 
and leading the world in many areas. One of our pioneers and founding members of our program since the very start. Kaz has been one of the key instrumental surgeons involved in the GTXOR. Guided therapeutics is imaging and surgery. It's really a OR of the future. The GTXOR combines what we need as surgeons, which is the ability to better visualize where our target is. And then intraoperatively, we also need similar amount of guidance to be able to reach our target with the maximum precision possible. That's good, perfect. The cone beam CT, it can scan the patient when you want to, and it generates a CT-like image. The good thing is that when you don't need it, it will go away from you. We go back to the control room, we identify the pathway to the nodule, and then we can go back and use that software to guide us to identify the tumor. It's yeah. this, it's this. You're right. Yeah. And if we can see it, we can target it. And if we can target it, we can destroy it. Which we really need to do in order to impact the survival rate uh, for lung cancer and other cancers. One in two Canadians will be diagnosed with cancer. Lung cancer is the most common form of cancer, and it's the most common cause of cancer death, not only in Canada, but in the world. He is one of the most famous Japanese thoracic surgeons. That's why I want to come to here to help his work. I really want to be like uh, him, like a great doctor like him. It may be possible. I really think about each patient as being my family. I was terrified when I went in to see Dr. Yasufuku. Dr. Yasufuku set me at ease. He said, Frank, if there's anything in your lungs, I'm going to find it and I'm going to get it out. And if you're on board with this, there's a new technique that I like to try. And that's to inject you with isotopes. And the isotopes make the spots glow a bright green. And he said that would give me the target exactly where I need to go. Yes. And I thought, wow, <laughs> I'm so lucky. This, this is the future. I was in hospital overnight no pain, space age, and oh, the care was fantastic. Absolutely the best. I'm glad they got them out because, unfortunately, my brother, he had, uh, he had cancer and didn't know it. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away six months after um, I had my surgery. It's been three years after the surgery, and um, I've been cancer-free. Dr. Yasufuku, you saved my life. I would like to be a great surgeon, like Dr. Yasufuku. It's more than a passion for him. It's his vocation, and it gives me the confidence to support him and know that I'm supporting the best in the field. Kazu, you're a great colleague. A wonderful partner and a wonderful friend to have all these years. Kazu's a game changer. We're so blessed to have you here in Toronto at Toronto General Hospital. Kazu, it's been a total privilege and fortune of mine to have met you and be able to be part of attracting you to thoracic surgery at Toronto General. And the world is a better place for that. Coming from Japan in a new country, being able to make a change, make a difference for Canadians and also for the Japanese community. This, this really means a lot to me. So, Thank you.